Uh, my name is uh, Nosiku Kalonga from Zambia. I'm the founder of a community-based organization called uh, Mabana Community Outreach Project. I'm a co-head of uh, Washington Fellowship, an initiative under the His Excellency President Obama and uh, Young African Leadership Initiative. My organization, Mabana, Mabana actually means mother of children, and our focus area are into orphans and vulnerable children empowerment programs into education, literacy skills, and also into recreation. And we also have programs that are aimed at um, empowering the youth through life skills training in computer skills, leadership training, entrepreneurship development, and also into HIV, AIDS awareness and prevention through the use of sports. So Nosiku, as a 2014 Washington Fellow at Rutgers University this past summer, what have you learned that you feel you can apply to your organization to move it forward in the future? I've learned a lot of uh, things uh, during this uh, six weeks program at Traticus, uh, YARI program. Uh, I, my organization actually is a grassroots organization or community based and uh, before I came to Yali, we were not very organized <laughs> in terms of structure, organization skills. And here I've learned about community organization, fundraising and marketing, social media, uh, strategic planning, things that I never actually applied because I, I was not so conversant with the skills. But when I go back home, one of my goals is actually to apply the knowledge. So I'm going to um, structure the organization so that it can have the required um, uh, structures so that we can actually fundraise and uh, yeah expand our serv community services also inform other community-based uh, founders so that they can actually apply the skills and work on the organization structures community organization so that the organization can actually deliver more than what they are doing at the moment and Nosiku can you tell us um what are some of the first steps that you'll take when you return to your country and to, again, further your organization? Yeah, one of the things I'll do when I'm back home is actually to apply the skills through my organization, so my daily routine work. And also, one of uh, the other goal is I'll try, because back home, there are a lot of small organizations, like community-based organizations, that are actually initiated by the founders. So they could have the vision, but they do not have the skills. So I'll try to share that knowledge with founders of those community organizations or clubs for women. And also my ultimate goal is actually to establish a youth resource center that will have um, computers as a computer lab, studying space, reliable internet services for to um, increase the chances of opportunities for the youth, such opportunities like um, learning online through using Coursera. And, uh, information searching, looking for employment on, uh, on, on the internet, and also continue expanding their knowledge into computer skills so that they can, be, uh, employ they can have employable skills as they look how to look for jobs. So that is like my main goal, uh, initiating the Youth Resource Center. Excellent. And lastly, how can someone who's interested in your work get in contact with you and support you from the US? Um, first of all, we have a website, so you can actually access our information by using, um, by visiting www.mavana.org and through there you can get contact to my organization and if people want to get involved, we have a lot of, like I'm saying about doing the, starting the Youth Resource Center, we need a lot of computers, we need experts, we can even have volunteers working online, you know, like they could be in the U.S. but actually offering services in Zambia. We need people, I, I want to do t uh, or teaching courses online. So I need, like, if universities are having those courses, distance courses that can be accessible online, they can get in touch with me, like, put me into contact so that I can actually deliver those courses home in an organized structure. So, yeah, finances also are needed. Others, if they want to donate materials like curriculum or computers or even fi funds, you know, everything is uh, is welcome because we need that we don't have friends but i believe we're going to do it because our time our yeah is a resource thank you very much thank you